morning and happy new year. It's been a bit since I've been here, but I am here to give you a piece of guidance. I want to tell you I have fallen in love. Well, not with a person, but with a divination tool. I have been blessed to have been given my own set of runes by someone who I just admire and respect so much. And I want to give a shout out. Thanks, Deb, for the runes. I really, really, really took them to heart and they have become a daily practice in my life. So I want to give you a mini reading using the rune of the day. So what are runes? They're little hieroglyphic-like symbols on, these are stones, some of them are on wood, some of them are on some form of crystals, but these are on stones. And so what I do every day, I get my bag of runes, and I pull a rune, and I get a message of the day. Now, this message is filled with insight for me because I pulled it for me. I don't have a specific question in mind. And also you can see, I wear a rune around my neck and it means something very special. I do have uh, several runes that I've purchased like this and I've given to them to some of the people in my Going Within group. That's how much I believe and value in the information of the runes. So back to the rune of the day. Now, I pulled this with the intention of getting guidance on whatever I needed guidance on. And so, as you listen to me explain, the answers, the questions you have are all going to get resolved if you have an open mind. So, here is the message of the day. So, this rune is called Kano. Or Kano, not sure how you pronounce it, but it is the rune of opening, the element of fire. And this rune, as I pulled it, was reversed. So this way, it's backwards because you're on camera, but this way and then this way. The way I pulled it was reversed. And what the reversed meaning of this rune is all about is a death, an ending a letting go, can be also a burning of bridges. You've come so far and you may not see the need or the value in continuing in a partnership, in a relationship, in a belief system. Whatever it is that you have been struggling with that hasn't been feeling like it's fit in your life, it's because it's time for it to die. It's time for it to transform. It's time for it to move on. You are put on notice right now that it is the end of something. Now, you know what this is in your life. I certainly know what it is in my life. And there isn't one right answer or one wrong answer because this is unique to you. This is all part of the cycle of life. What dies leaves room for what needs to be reborn or born. Therein is a very profound message for you. Now, knowing that an end is coming, you can prepare yourself by using the mantra, the affirmation, the words, I release what no longer serves me in order to make room for what expands and grows me. Just recite that. You can write it down. You can recite it in your mind. You can have it printed out. As you release what no longer serves you, what no longer fits you. And you know, for some of you, it may be the old clothes in the attic that you've been measuring yourself by. Oh, when I fit in these clothes, release the old. 
let go of what no longer serves you. When you identify what no longer serves you, what exactly that is for you, I want you to become aware of the behavior that you've been putting forth to keep this in your life. Because I was astounded at my own behavior when I realized that this needs to go based on what I pulled here and then I sat in reflection. I was astounded when I looked back and saw I would go to great lengths to keep what had outgrown me and what I had outgrown. So what you're going to do, you're going to hear my words, you're going to sit silently for a few minutes with them, and you're going to give yourself permission to live in an empty space, to live without what needs releasing. There needs to be an adjustment period. I'm going to lose a piece of myself, I'm going to lose a relationship, I'm going to lose a belief, whatever it is for you. Give yourself permission to just be in that empty space without so that you can make room and become next level for what is about to present itself. I hope that this makes sense. If you have any questions or maybe you just want a reading and you want me to use the runes for you, I'm here, veronicadrake.com. Leave your comments. Let me know how this applies to you in your life. Does it resonate with you? Did you get it right away? Do you need to sit with it? Is there some reflection required? And above and beyond everything else, make sure you have your coffee as you're doing it. All right. Happy New Year. 23 and me. Me and 23. 23 is the year of V. All right? That's my hashtag. All right, guys. See you soon.